Okay, this video is over module 20, and so in this module we start to uh, be introduced to the idea of I, and I represents a complex number. What is a complex number? We know that the square root of 4 is a real number, 2, right? But the square root of negative 4 does exist, it's just that um, we've always said that it wasn't a real number because it's not, it's a complex number, okay? Um, essentially, this can be written as the square root of 4 times a negative 1, which can be written as the square root of 4 times the square root of negative 1. And the square root of 4 is 2, and definition i is equivalent to the square root of negative 1. So this part here becomes an i. So yes, the square root of negative 4 does exist, it's just not a real number. It's a complex number, okay? And so they essentially want me to do the same thing with the examples that they've given me, okay? So for this one, again, you basically, if you want to take the negative out, you can shortcut it. See, if I want to take the negative out, this, this part here, if I take it out, it'll become an i. And then the square root of 4 is 2, and we already know that in math, we like to have the coefficient in the front, so this would become 2i. Okay? And it's a little bit faster than breaking up the root. So for this example, I would bring this out in front, and it would become an i. And in my computer, I can type in the square root of 90, and I get 3 square root of 10. Now remember, outsides can get multiplied together. This is not in a house, this is not in a house. So I can multiply them together to get 3i. And the square root of 10 just kind of carries along. Now, here, you have to do the same thing. However, you have to be very careful, okay? What you cannot do is multiply these two things together, okay? You cannot do this. Oops, 64 times 121. And then take the square root of that number. Okay, this is wrong. This isn't going to be the correct answer. Okay, what you need to do is you need to write this is a complex number. The square root of a negative is a complex number. The square root of another negative is a complex number. So you need to write these into their complex forms before you can multiply them together. Okay. So here I've got, this will come out as an i. So you get i times the square root of 64. And then this will come out as an i. i times the square root of 121, which is the same as i times 8 times i times 11. So you end up with e8 and then i squared. Okay. Now, that is not the end of it. Because just like i equals the square root of 1, well, what happens if you square both sides, right? If I square that side, I have i squared. And if I square this side, the square root and the square will undo each other. And I'll just have the inside that I can, um, negative 1. So i squared is equal to negative 1. Which means this right here is equivalent to negative 1. And therefore, my answer is actually negative 88. Okay. Here, we do the same thing. This is a complex number. This is not. Okay. This is the square root of a positive. And the square root of 7 actually cannot reduce. Okay. But here, you can take this out as an i. And the square root of 28, I can work out. I get 2 square root of 7. So these two things will reduce, and i times 2 is 2i. Now, it does not have a square, 
so it will not become the negative one okay now here we're adding and subtracting complex numbers essentially what you're doing is eliminating the parentheses by distributing and then combining like terms so complex numbers go with complex numbers and constants go with constant okay so real parts with real parts imaginary parts with imaginary parts so here there's no reason for parentheses no coefficient no exponent so i can drop those parentheses here you have like a plus one so if you distribute that plus one you get positive six and negative four i then i want to combine my like terms i can combine these two terms and get negative six i plus six However, the formal way to write a complex number, complex in, in the fact that you have imaginary parts and real part to this entire number, you have to write the real in the front and then the imaginary part in the back, okay? So this is actually not in the correct order. It should be six and then minus six i. Same thing with this problem here, nothing to distribute, nothing to multiply, so do not need the parentheses for the first term. Here I have like a negative one, so I do need to distribute that. That'll make this negative four, and it'll turn that into positive three i. And if I combine my like terms, since I already know that the real part has to go in front, and the imaginary part has to go in the back, I'm gonna combine my like terms in that order. So the real, terms first, two, negative four is negative two, and then negative two plus three is gonna give me a positive one i. Again, you don't need to write the one coefficient, so negative two plus i is sufficient enough to write. Okay, well that's sort of an introductory. We are get into some more um, operations with complex numbers. But that's the end of this video and I'm going to break it up into parts. So I'll stop the video here.